Hey everyone, welcome back to the second tutorial for HTML CSS front-end web development. My name is Mehul and let's just briefly talk about what in the hell is HTML anyway. So you see if you're here you probably know what HTML is because you want to learn it but for those of you who have just you know just stumbled upon here by mistake or anything maybe this is when you start your change in career by becoming a front-end web developer because why the hell not. So HTML as you can see you can browse sites like these you know you can see all this stuff you can you know click this button you see this um, enables and disables stuff you see this button is disabled everything. So everything you see when you're browsing on a browser is created with HTML under the hood, right? So your browser tries to draw things on the screen using a programming markup language. I won't call it programming language because some people get offended on that. So it's a markup language and your browser would create documents, beautiful documents like this using the knowledge from that. As simple as that, right? Everything aside, why do you need to learn HTML? Well, the only way you can actually design web pages, web applications, is using HTML. There's no alternative, as of now, at least. So, you know, you can do whatever you want, but if you want to create web applications, websites accessible on it on the internet, then you need to know about HTML. And uh, yeah, I mean, there's there's no compromise in that. Fortunately. HTML is a very, very simple language to learn and we're going to be done with basics really, really soon. So this video would take you, number one, is why HTML is important, which we already discussed. It's required for, you know, web development and everything so that you can create awesome applications and distribute it to a lot of people around the globe. And number two is uh, we need to set up how we're going to learn stuff, right? Because I'm a big believer in the setup of a developer so setup would actually enable you to learn faster it would actually enable you to relate to things faster right so in this whole web series i'm going to make use of this thing called codedam playground which is a, which is an html playground on codedam.com so what you have to do is basically i'll just show you so just go ahead you're going to see something like this go to codedam.com right once you're on codedam.com, just click on register if you're a first time user or if you're a recurring user, you can just log in. If you're first time, just register for a free account. There you go. And if you're, you know, if you're returning, then what you have to do is just go ahead and log in on the page using your Google, Facebook or whatever account it is that you have registered with. And once you do that, you're going to come to this page. That is the dashboard of the website. Now go to the playground section and click on this HTML and CSS playground. Once you do that, you would be presented to a page like this where you would see me doing all the HTML and CSS tutorials. So at this point, we are completely synced with each other, right? So I'm going to make use of this thing, this interface in the whole playlist, and hopefully you can make use of this interface as well. If not, then I won't be able to help you a lot um, with any problems you face because if you use CodeDAM, you would be able to directly report to me if you face any problem or anything. We can share snippets. You can just create your snippet and send me the URL. I can see what you're doing, all that good stuff. If not, you can go with uh, editors like VS Code. Number one, I would recommend. Other than that, I would say uh, another one which is good is uh, Sublime Text, right? So you can choose Sublime Text as well or notepad plus plus if you want to go old school right so for me i was the one who started with notepad plus plus back in the days like i don't know six seven years ago but uh, yeah then i moved to sublime text then vs code and finally we have our own code damn platform for that matter right so yeah that's basically it for this video i just wanted to introduce you to the code damn playground interface and make sure you reach it successfully here by the time you're seeing this you might see a little bit of changes to the site but it's okay more or less the thing would remain same register an account go to playgrounds open the html playgrounds and bingo there you are so yeah that's that's basically it for this video if you liked it don't forget to like and subscribe thank you for watching and i'll see you then in the next video real soon